Hey all, so patch 2 just came out for Sons of the Forest. Now let's go through everything that they gave us. First thing is we now have a turtle shell water collector. This is how it looks and uh, I'm not so sure how I feel about the model. What is nice is you can pick it up and move it around but I hope they really do improve the way this thing looks because it just doesn't look good. Then the second thing is the maintenance key card now no longer shows the player's face. Also, when you now fly with the hand glider, you can now use most of the stuff that you use with your left hand. So, for example, the GPS and the lighter. Also, in the bunker where you find the katana, where the slug used to block the door, they've now moved the slug so that you can go in and out of that room without any issues. Speaking about that bunker, they have also moved the golden armor to a new cave system. That cave system is this one that I'm going to show you right now. I won't spoil what you can expect inside the cave or where the golden armor is, but this is the cave. It's right across the lake from where you used to get the golden armor. Let's talk about a few things that have been fixed, nerfed or adjusted. Firstly, the log exploit where if you place tree shelter number one on a tree and hit it with an axe and you got a massive supply of logs, that no longer works. One thing that has not changed is the fact that you are still able to build the floating base like I showed you in this video that's on screen right now. So if you want to do that, just wait till the end of this video and then click across to that. They have nerfed the cat food so that it does not give you the same amount of nutrition as it used to. However, they've buffed the MRE, so that does give you full nutrition. I don't know why they insist on messing with the food, as if a person would be able to eat a whole tin of something and not be full. Then they've also buffed the light emitted by the torch, so you've got better illumination. They've nerfed the gold armor, so it now only absorbs 70% of the demon attacks instead of 90%. Now speaking about the demons, there is a new boss at the end of the Hell Cave, right before you go to the end game. I'm not going to show you the boss fight, however it is absolutely no joke. Be prepared when you go there. This is what the boss looks like. It is a much larger demon and this thing takes an absolute pounding. But folks, that's everything I've got for now. Thank you so very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.